inspection and review of the uh, Radiovac Sportsman Extreme Flashlight. This is actually a pretty cool flashlight. I didn't know uh, the Radiovac uh, made a lot of flashlights and stuff, and this one's really neat. Now this is their uh, Sportsman Extreme. Uh, it measures in about just underneath 10 inches long, and it's actually a really nice design. Uh, really, it feels like a really good solid flashlight. Um, it has this uh, rubberized grip here, a uh, rubberized off and on switch that extends outside the body of the flashlight. The body of the flashlight is an anodized aluminum. The color on it, I would say, is a smoked nickel sort of look. Uh, it's actually really cool and really sweet. Now the the batteries inside it takes uh, currently it's, it has these uh, Radiovac. It uses three C batteries and uh, it's using those Radiovacs right now. Um, like I said, really nice construction on the light. Um, really good fit and finish. Uh, pretty sweet looking. Now the only problem that I did have was actually. Uh, it came with a lanyard, and actually this is the lanyard here to it. Uh, it snapped on it, and actually it was uh, installed in here, and there's like a little nub right here which went through, and um, if you take a look at it here, it, it was, I don't know if it was the weight of the light or if it was the uh, maybe caught on a sharp edge within that nub, but it cut it off right at the same spot on uh, on the lanyard at the end and stuff. And it's on both sides, the same spot. But um, yeah, it flew off right off, and I had it on my hand, on my wrist, and I was spinning it around a little bit, and it just flew right off. Uh, took a dump down some stairs, but you know, uh, no big scratches, no actually really scratches uh, there, no dents or dings and stuff. It actually survived going down the stairs, and it still works fine. So that's actually really cool. Now it does have a uh, plastic lens. Um, but uh, like I said, the uh, the body's really nice and really uh, nicely constructed. Um, upon pressing the switch, you start off in your uh, 75 lumen setting, and this is actually pretty cool. If you want to conserve battery life, um, you're working really close um, to the subject that you're shining the light on. Uh, this is actually really nice. So the, that 75 lumens will probably last you. They say it's going to last you about. 60 hours with new batteries, um, depending on the battery strength and stuff, but it's going to last you a lot longer than the high setting. Now, to get the high setting, you just click it again, and it automatically jumps to the uh, 180 lumens. Now, that beam will go out to about the distance of about 100 yards. After 100 yards, it's going to diffuse a little bit. Um, I found that, you know, like I said, it's it's really nice. It lights up trees or, you know, puts that little, you have that little circle there, and that turns into like a wider spotlight type of look uh, at that 100 yards distance. Um, works really nice, and uh, after that 100 yards, though, it's going to diffuse a little bit. It still puts out light further than 100 yards, but um, you lose that sort of spotlight look. Um, so, yeah, you could definitely, you know, uh, shine it out the window, uh, highlight your car, um, go actually even look down the street a little ways uh, with that distance and uh, not even have to leave the comfort of your own home or, you know, like I said, uh, step out into a situation that you don't want to. Um, like I said, just shine it through the window or whatever. But um, overall, it's a great little light, you know. Um, use it when you walk the dog or... Uh, any kind of situation outside, especially, you know, being water resistant and stuff, even in the rain, um, drop it in a puddle or whatever, it's going to still work. So uh, a really nice flashlight and uh, great construction. Um, the fit and finish on this is really cool. You would think that this is a little bit more expensive light than what it is. Uh, for that price tag, you would uh, you think that this would be actually, a, a lot, you know, um, a lot cheaper, uh, a lot cheaper feel than what it is. It actually feels really nice and has a really great feel to it. So that is the uh, the Radiovac Extreme Flashlight. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe and look for some more videos to come of some new and cool uh, products. And uh, thank you for watching. 
You guys have a great day. Be safe. Okay, here's a little water test that I'm going to do for the uh, Sportsman Extreme by Radiovac. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, submerge it. Um, well, it's supposed to be an extreme light uh, used maybe in uh, outdoor situations, and uh, it rains outdoors. So this is going to simulate uh, being dropped in a uh, puddle or in a little stream, uh, nothing too deep but totally submerge the light, uh, roll it around a little bit, seems to be holding up pretty good, shake it around, for the most part it's, uh, as you can see it's still working, that's fully submerged, so still works, still easy to click, off and on. So I think that actually works out pretty good. That's uh, an A plus on the water test.